that kind of thing. You know, play dress up, you know, with uh -huh. friends and that kind of stuff. How old? About seven. Both, both together? Yeah. yeah. When did mom find out you were doing that? Um, not I really you. can't not, tell. Not for quite a while, right? Yeah, well, well then she did know. She would, would find, like, obvious. she would find lipsticks. Yeah, we would buy lipsticks and she'd find them in our coats. and. Kind of we wore eyeliner since sixth grade, so it's not like anybody wouldn't be able to tell if you have eyeliner on. You know what I mean? And we were, a lot of the times when we went down the street, people just thought we were girls. You know, I was even embarrassed once. I was with schoolmates, mm -hmm. and this guy wanted to talk to me. And you know how guys are. And, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know how guys are. And he was very that. So it was, it was very much normal. Uh, when did you start actually dressing as as girls? Um, to go out, maybe not full time, but just maybe to go out or just around the house. Um, thirteen, about thirteen. Yeah. Actually, we weren't just around the house. No. We uh, we, had we moved went out. A, yeah, we moved to a new neighborhood, and you know, we. Well, didn't your mom pretty much left you, didn't she? Yes. Yeah, when you to, when you told your mom, who actually did the telling? Did you both together? Um, yeah, we did together. Yeah, together. How did she take yeah. the news? How did you, do you remember what you said to her? Yeah. Um. Well, it's not, it's, it's like um, a number of incidents that led up to, like, telling her. But we really did have to come and tell her for her to know. Because when she saw us, we actually had makeup yeah. on, but, you know, I, we hadn't told her yet. Yeah. You know, and it really wasn't, she had walked in, actually, to a meeting of, uh, it was a, a gay and lesbian youth center that mm -hmm. we were at. And she had came, come there to find us, yeah. because we had left home at the time. And then what was her reaction? She was just very, I don't know, she just... She seemed like she was a very different person afterwards. Yeah. Uh, she didn't take it too well. What did you tell her? Did you say you were gay? No, or? actually, we told her. No, we didn't say we were gay. We just said we were going through some problems and we needed some time to help figure, you know, what was going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, when somebody said something like that, I mean, you can't just turn your back on them. But she did, didn't she? Yeah, she did. But well, I don't hate her or anything like that. No. Uh, you know, we. Tr uh, have you talked to her lately? Yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, we called her yesterday. We got into a fight and she hung with the phone on her, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, we called her, too, and she hung up on us, too. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> there you go. Surprise. <laughs> you know, but for a long time, we had to basically, you know, move on with our lives and just, you know, it was basically just us, so that we did so. Exactly. Well, you grew so, as boys, you, you grew up as twin boys. Uh, to a certain degree, yeah, I to mean, a certain degree. twin boys to, let's see, my, we met my mother's boyfriend's family for the first time. And as soon as we walked in, these beautiful twin girls. And it took we were how old? I think 13, 12, 13. Yeah. Somewhere in that area. What do you mean? When they met you, they like said... When they met us. When they met us, before any words came out of our mouths, before uh -huh. anyone said, these are her daughters coming over or her sons coming over. Nobody ever said that, I suppose. But they were just came in. We assumed you were girls. Yeah. We assumed, yeah. But were you trying to look like girls then? No. Were you wearing a little makeup and what kind of clothes we would never you wear? We really had to like look like girls. I mean, or wear too much makeup. makeup. That kind of thing. You know. <laughs> so yeah. you started dressing full time as girls. Your mother pretty much left you. You were what, 14? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You went to foster care for a while. Mm -hmm. You went to a new school mm -hmm. and you decided this is when you can make the big change yeah. and you went to school full time mm -hmm. as girls, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened at school? Our foster parent told the um, principal, who which I later found out was gay, told the principal that, uh, yeah. <laughs> another twist, the principal that, you know, we were guys instead of girls, and, you know, there was really no need for him to know because none of the kids had said, look at those faggots walking down the hall. They never said anything like that whatsoever. You were accepted as girls. As exactly. Girl. Popular? Popular. <laughs> Very popular. We've always been popular in school. How long did that, that, did you have that time of popularity before everybody found out? How long? I'd say about two weeks. Yeah. So we'd become pretty popular in two weeks. Then we twins. went to the new kids. That was yeah. cool. especially being twins. Yeah. Sure. Being twins. Yeah. Cool. And we dressed alike, you know, every now and then. We'd wear like different colors. She'd wear black, and I wear white. The same outfit, you know. And then who told who at school? Who told who? The foster mother told the principal. Uh huh. How did the and whole school? The principal told like just the faculty. And then and the faculty you know, it leaked told out the students. After that. You know, oh. like leaked out. I suppose whatever. But you know. And then what happened at school with you? Oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. You know, kids nowadays are horrible. They can be very horrible. I mean, I'm not saying that all kids are mm -hmm. bad, but, you know, that was only a couple of it's years It's not ago. our most sensitive <laughs> time of, uh, of growing up. I know. We can <laughs> be kind of cool. Right? Yeah. yeah, I know exactly. What you mean. So did they treat to start treating you differently? Oh, yes. What no, kind of things were you um, being told, or how were you being treated then? Um, a lot worse. Yeah, we were... You never we were, were a freak show more so than anything else, and, you know, we just did normal yeah. things. You know, it, 
first, it, it's, it's surprising when we walked out here, the number, the, when you told, when you introduced us, the way the reactions on people's faces were like, you know, and people were like that, and then they start to make judgments. And I'm not saying, I'm not judging the audience or anything, but I'm saying that's the way it was in school. Mm -hmm. And you know, kids don't have any brains, really. I'm just joking. We were in high school, so it was... But you know how everyone ago. forms their own opinion. Do you remember yeah. your first conversation at whatever it was, age seven or eight, when you actually talked about this openly, about how you felt different, how you...